Hi, this is Karthik. Today in this video, I am going to show you an application called Super Easy POS, which uh, has been exclusively developed by me. And this application is very useful for uh, businesses like restaurants, hotels, roadside food courts, etc. You can use uh in any small businesses or a big businesses like the supermarkets also for billing your customers so now i'm going to show the features of this app you can see this is a home screen where you get all the products from uh, your business you can list here and one good feature of this app is this app uses firebase as a backend so you no need to buy anything for the purpose of backend like server nothing only firebase will use and this app has real-time database access of firebase so everything every item you add every invoice you generate will be synced to the real-time database and you can manage your business suppose you keep a manager in your, at your business and you can give this app to him and you can monitor the invoices and the businesses the business is going there from anywhere or sitting from your home so now I will show you so this is the home screen of the app you can see the products so you based on your customer order you can select the items here that is one this suppose the first item it is chicken tandoori so if you ordered one item of this chicken tandoori you can click on one other other are you ordered five you can click on five if you want more you can increase or decrease by pressing these buttons plus and minus buttons so like this you can add as many items as you want then here search bar is there even you can use this one this the number what you are seeing before the item name is the item code which is absolutely your option that is you can enter whatever the item code you want suppose I want to get to this dumb biryani here it has a f item number as 44 if I search for 44 it will just go to there okay otherwise you can even search for biryani like this here so it will show you two items here if you have more it will show that also so I want to go to mutton biryani if I select there it will go to mutton biryani okay then you can select the quantity next thing is you can preview so in the preview section you will see the total overview of the order if it is okay for your customer you can just go ahead and print if it is some alteration is there you can if you change if your customer changes his, his mind you can go back and decreases quantity or remove an items for removing an item you just you can just make it zero like that then go to preview so here you can see then in the top you can see uh, there is an option called walk-in customer so by default it will take walk-in customer if you have registered customers in your app you can select uh, customer so if you select a registered customer in your app what what another option you get is then there, there is there is an option called fully paid that which have just appeared now see if you if i select walk in it will not come because for walk in customers you cannot give we cannot give dues right so for register customer it will come that's fully paid then if you if you want to pay the partial payment you can just remove this tick checkbox and you can enter the amount he is paying that is suppose he is paying thousand as partial payment you can just print it okay now the invoice has been generated you can see in the dashboard we have an option called check today's bills and you can see for the customer m karthik we have generated a 
2870 rupees of bill and the bill due in the left side it is showing as bill due as 1870 rupees so if the customer again comes and pays some amount suppose he paid another 1000 rupees you can remove that 1000 and enter the balance update then click on update it will automatically updates see bill due is 870 only and you may thinking that how you want how you will give the bill to the customer i will show you that also okay now uh, on my screen you can see the printer the bluetooth printer uh, this is thermal printer this app supports all type of thermal printers which are bluetooth connection at, at this time uh, we are supporting only bluetooth connection in future we will update for usb also so i am switching off this one okay after switching on what i have to do is i will go to settings here and there is an option called enable printer okay if you enable this one you will get some options like what is your business name address and phone number one phone number two and prefix of invoice like this so you can edit if you want according to your need then if you enable this one and go to the home screen that is POA screen you will see an icon the printer icon on the top right which is in red color when you click on it it will connect to the printer and it becomes orange in color so you can see now the printer is connected and you can see the blue light on the printer also and then you have to test print it see print success so this is the uh, way of connecting to the printer but one thing is you have to pair this uh, bluetooth printer uh, be beforehand from your bluetooth settings after that only our app will connect to it the pairing code will be double zero double zero usually for all the bluetooth thermal printers you may check your thermal printer documentation for that then now we will see how the billing will be done so i am selecting one three items here clicking on preview then click on print so you can see we got an bill here the total amount is 820 you can see this on screen also and here also 820 so what if your business has gst billing okay then we have an option for that also then go to settings then click on enable gst if you click on enable gst you will get an option for entering your gst number you have to enter the gst number and save it then if in case your business all products you are selling in your business comes to single category of gst you can check this one that is all my products have single gst like this so suppose we will think for now that our business have all products have single gst that is five percent i am uh, saving it okay so now what we will do go to the pos then again select the items then click on preview then click on print so now you can see on the bottom of the screen total gst 5% collected is rupees 85 so we'll get like this how much gst is included in the total bill then on the top you can see the gst number also printed on the bill so another scenario is we have different products with different gst then we will remove this one uh, if, so if you remove this one we will get another type of billing but currently all my products in this app are in single gst only uh, so so we will see that also even though all the parts are single gst the, but the printing mode will be different you will see it 
so you can see on the bottom here 5% GST for above is rupees 57 previously we got like this total GST like this but now we are getting like this so if some products are of different GST you will get in that group so the products will be grouped based on their GST value so I will show you I have a photo of that so you can see you can see in this screenshot uh, this photo you can see the 5% GST for above is 19 and then here uh, at the bottom product is the thumbs up which is 8% GST so your products will be grouped based on the GST value and they will be printed on the invoice so now we will go to our app so now we will go to our app so this is the home screen features so these are the items you can use for billing and one more option on the home screen I forgot to tell you is if you are have, uh, using this app for a restaurant business then you may selling in online also like for Zomato or Swiggy so the prices should be different for them because they charge some commission for from us so we have to cover that also for that we have to increase the price and we have to give the bill for that so for that I have added uh, two options here enable Swiggy and enable Zomato if you want more options I am available for customization of this app also so here if I enable these two and go to the POS I will get in the bottom you will see the two options Zomato and Swiggy so if I select the uh, Swiggy you can see the prices are changing please observe that so if I select Zomato the Zomato price will come and click on pre one here the customer name also converts to Zomato or if I select Swiggy the customer name will convert to Swiggy then click on print the print will be generated and invoice will be available here but the printing is not mandatory if you have thermal printer you can use that option otherwise you can disable the printing option from here if you don't disable this printing option from here you cannot generate the invoice without printing if you enable that printing option you must print it otherwise the invoice will not be generated okay so this is the home screen that is POI screen of the app then you can go to dashboard so in the dashboard we have five options here currently that is check today bills here you will see the bills what are the invoices we have created now and on the top you can see the date here so you can select the date and you get you can get the invoices based on that date okay like this then we have the PLU option here PLU means price lookup if you actually this is counter report click on it you will get three options here counter report Zomato report and Swiggy report if you open counter report so in the counter report that is in your business counter what are the items and how many quantity they have sold we will get for the, for the full day we will get the details here you can even print it from this screen you can see the bottom there we got a icon here for the printer you can print it similarly you can check for Zomato and Swiggy also so Zomato we did not uh, sold any items today so for Swiggy we have sold so we will get the report then you can, you can, another option we have is a graph chart open it so if you open the graph chart we will get a daily sales and expense chart so how much sales daily has happened total sales we will get in a graph manner and for this also we can get for 7 days or 30 days on the top here is there 30 days or 7 days next thing is daily expenses so you can add daily expenses here like this so for the, for my restaurant if I purchase rice for of 25 kgs with price of 60 rupees per kg and add items to list then I purchased milk 5 liters for the price of 60 
add item to list then if you click on submit all items the uh, expense list will be added to the server that is firebase and it will appear here you can see the 17th today date is 17th while well, i am recording this video so on 17th the 1800 is my expense like this next is a menu items option in the menu items you can see all the items which you added and you can edit the each item here or you can create a new one from here so here what are the fields you will get is you can enter an item name here then you can enter its price enter item code and if you select the category automatically the category the each category will be created with a GST it will come here so even though if your product still have different DST you can still edit it like this and save it okay so there is no headache of using that category GST only because from like this you can add item here you can edit it if you want to change any price or name uh, then if for, for image we have to use URL here you can see item image URL you have to use URL then if you want to delete an item you can delete it but it will ask an alert do you want to delete like that then you can go back this another screen another option in the dashboard is the categories the same like menu items you can edit delete and add category like this then we have an option called app users so in this app not only you can use it any you, anyone can create suppose you if any you your manager or any of your employees have this app in the install in their phone they can create an account but they can only use the app once you enable the user here if you enable like this only he can he or she can use their app and here another option is there for every user there that is their user role uh, you can make them a manager or you can make them as an admin if you make them as a manager they can't create new items they can't uh, delete items they can't delete categories like that there are some uh, role based restrictions here so this is a user screen and the current you admin whoever the logged in here if he is admin he cannot change it remove as admin for by himself okay and if he is a manager manager cannot use these options also okay so next is the customers so we have customers here and we have an options called uh, edit delete and invoice so if you click on invoice we will get all the invoice of the respective customer you can print the invoices from here you can print the invoices from here or you can update the balance from here okay like this you can add customers from here new customer name is a mandatory field and address and phone number are optional then so these are the dashboard options if you go to settings so already you have already seen these settings you can enable and uh, disable these uh, Zomato and Swiggy's you can enable and disable GST also or if you have a single GST category you can select that option also then the here bottom thing is enable printer enable printer or disable printer see whatever the uh, values you enter here those will be printed on the invoice okay so this is the uh, detailed overview of my application that is super easy POS so if you want this application for your business 
and you, uh, you can even ask for more customization of this app if you have any needs you can contact me from the contact details available in the description of this video thank you for watching and this is Karthik signing off